Hello and welcome to the second introductory episode of Bionicle Explained. This is part two of a two-part introduction to this series that will be explaining all things Bionicle. These first two episodes serve as a premise of sorts to the series as they are meant to introduce a casual person to Bionicle by addressing two of the most common asked questions about it. What is the general story of Bionicle? And how can I get into Bionicle? Now if you don't know anything about Bionicle or just want to learn more about it, I'd suggest first watching part 1, The General Story of Bionicle, to find out generally what Bionicle is about. But if you want to find out the best way to tackle the story, specifically how and what you can read slash watch, then this is for you. If you want to learn more about the overall series of Bionicle Explained, check out the Welcome to Bionicle Explained video. That, the first introductory episode, and all other episodes are in the Bionicle Explained playlist linked in the video description or found in the thumbnail linked at the end of the video. Now onto the topic of this video, how to get into Bionicle. As you may have heard in my Bionicle Explained series introduction video, I actually first made this video back in 2017. Originally, I stated that starting with the Bionicle comics was the best way to experience the story. If you were interested enough, you could then dive into the movies, books, story serials, etc. But recently, I've done my own dive back into reading Bionicle lore and found that this video could use some updates based upon recent experiences and some feedback I received last time. Now as a note, there are many ways to experience the story of Bionicle, and many fans online have done phenomenal jobs of creating new and innovative ways to experience it. From combining all the story into a few consistent documents, to putting it all in absolute chronological order, to making video edits showcasing much of the story, etc, etc. Bionicle has a very dedicated community that is so awesome at keeping it alive. But the goal of this wasn't so much to have the Bionicle story told in another medium, but rather create a guide on the best way to read and experience Bionicle in a way it was originally released and in a way that makes the story and world rather digestible. To clarify, the other ways of experiencing the story I mentioned certainly have their place and accomplish their goal very well, but I wanted to create something that allowed others to experience it in a way that is as close as possible to the way many fans like myself originally experienced it when Bonacle was ongoing. And I know chronology is important, but Bonacle is generally told in chronological order with the stories that aren't mostly coming later on. Plus, these stories go over details that you'll definitely appreciate more once you have a base knowledge of Bionicle. Now you may be thinking, why would someone still need a guide to help them follow the Bionicle story if release order best introduces them to everything? Well, the issue was that Bionicle was told over four plus mediums that overlapped a bit in what they covered, with some being more important than others. Those four that I'll first be focusing on are comics, books, films, and story serials. I'll be getting into more specifics about each medium later on in the video. Originally in 2017, I said to just stick to the comics and you'll learn the main story, be tasked to watch the films at certain points as you read, and if you were super interested, could dive into the books and story serials to learn more. But, as I said, based upon feedback I received, and as I've gone through all of Bionicle again, I found that not one of the four mediums should be taking complete precedence over another, but rather all be put on the same level. So what I came up with was a spreadsheet that combines those four mediums and categorizes them as one reading order. But the mediums never interrupt each other, so for each year, you'll read all the comics first, watch the movies whenever it was released, and then read all the chapter books, then read the story serials, and then read all the guidebooks. The thing is, while the comics, and by extension the films, do give a great general overview of the Bionicle story, they just leave out many important details and stories that I believe help paint the full picture of the Bionicle story. The books especially really help drive the connective tissue between the years and events, helping you understand what has happened since you last saw some characters, while also giving the narrative more time to breathe and take shape. You also read some fantastically written side stories, so the books shouldn't be treated as a secondary item to read, but rather in conjunction with the comics and films as they build upon them. 
And while these three mediums certainly are the most important out of the four mediums in the spreadsheet, I still decided to include the story serials because much like the books, they build upon the main story and further develop concepts that are later referenced. Plus, by including the story serials, this spreadsheet now completely encapsulates the written Bionicle story. So anyone who picks up this guide now has the opportunity to maneuver through the entire Bionicle story in the way it was originally released and in a way that makes everything digestible. There still are a few mediums Bionicle was told through that I've left out, but I'll get back to those later and explain them a bit more. However, with this spreadsheet, I still wanted to give people the option to skip over something if perhaps they weren't feeling it. I still highly recommend, at the bare minimum, reading all of the comics and most of the books, but if maybe a book feels like too much of a rehash of the comics, or you just want to get to the next year, you could just skip over an item and move on to the next in the spreadsheet. Likewise, maybe in your first run through the story, you don't feel the need to read the guidebooks. You can simply skip over them and pick up on the comics and books for the next year. If this still sounds a bit confusing, don't worry, I'm going to show an example in just a few moments. As a note, not every year has movies, story serials, and guidebooks, but at the bare minimum has comics and chapter books. Let me take you through 2007 as an example of using this spreadsheet, as 2007 contains every medium besides a film. As you can see, the spreadsheet opens to an introduction sheet, which explains the purpose of this document and gives some helpful information, which I'll be covering in this example. Let's navigate to the reading order guide sheet. This contains some general information about each item from the picture, year released, type, series, name, an area to mark if you've read it, and a link to where you can read it online thanks to Biomedia Project. I'll speak more about them later on. A quick note about the spreadsheet, the Google Sheet version that is visible to you doesn't carry over the filters, so you'll have to create them yourself. Just select the first row and create a temporary filter. Now you can filter. Since I'm focusing on 2007, I'm going to sort by year. As previously explained, each year starts off with the comics. 2007 happens to start off with a webcomic, one that was only ever released online. As you complete each item, you can mark it red by filling in the cell. So as you read through the comics, you may encounter a film which is inserted between issues as indicated in the book ending issues. This was usually tied to the release date of the film. The films are really the only medium that is interrupting another, but that is so the comics don't spoil the plot of the film. Besides, the comics do encourage watching them at those points I inserted them, as you will see. 2007 didn't have a film, but as you can see in 2003, the film was inserted between issues. Getting back to 2007, once you finish the comics, you can move on to the books, which, as previously stated, greatly expand the story covered in the comics and introduce many characters' events, and you learn from many amazing side stories. Once those are finished, you move on to the story serials for the year. Again, these are fantastic side stories that are covering some great characters and events. Lastly, once the story serials are done, you can read the guidebooks for the year, which explain a lot about the world of Bionicle and our information dumps. Again, I want to stress, at any point you can skip over these reading materials, but at the bare minimum, I believe you should read all of the comics in most of the books to get a full experience. If you wish to download the spreadsheet, there are two download links in the video description. One that links you to Google Drive, where you can download or copy the Google Sheet to your own drive, and another that contains an XLSX Excel version of the spreadsheet. I showcase the Google Sheet version, as that may be more accessible to the public, and it is easier to push updates to this version. Speaking of, I do include a changelog in both versions to see how the sheet may change over time, so definitely check back to see if I made any updates to the spreadsheet, so you can update your copy. Now that you know the order to read it in and why I organized it the way I did, I can finally explain a bit more about each medium and the other ways to explore Bionicle. First off, the comics. If the premise and concept of Bionicle sound interesting enough, the first issue will suck you right in, and it wastes no time explaining the world and diving into the action. In the middle of each issue, there is a two-page highlight of sets associated with the current storyline, and it usually gives some extra details and explanations about them. 
I always thought this was a nice little addition and gave some insight about certain characters you haven't seen before. There are technically three series of Bionicle comics, the first being titled Bionicle and containing issues 1 through 27, the second being titled Bionicle Ignition and containing issues 0 through 15, and the third being titled Bionicle Glatorian and containing issues 1 through 7. Even though the comics are fairly cheap on eBay, it would take a while to get your hands on all of them, but the folks over at BiomediaProject.com actually have all of them free to read in high quality. It doesn't stop there too. The site is dedicated to archiving all things Bionicle, from videos, to pictures, to games, to music, and much more. This is the site that was linked in the reading order guide spreadsheet for all of the comics, books, and story serials. So a huge thanks to Biomedia Project. It's a fantastic site, and I would recommend checking it out. The link to this and other important sites I mentioned can be found in the video description. Next up, the films. There are four films in total. Bionicle Mask of Light, Bionicle 2 Legends of Metronui, Bionicle 3 Web of Shadows, and Bionicle The Legend Reborn. The first three take place within the first 27 issues of the Bionicle comic series, and The Legend Reborn takes place in the Bionicle Glatorian comic series. As I said before, they organically fit into the comics, and the reading guide spreadsheet should help with that. The films are fairly easy to come by and are entertaining, so there is no need to be concerned about any of that. Next up, the books. There are four series of books to read. The Chronicles, which contains five books, The Adventures, which contains ten books, The Legends, which contains eleven books, and The Glatorian series, which only contains three books. Now a few things to point out about these. I mentioned before that there may be a few books that feel like they are rehashing a bit of the comic story, and those are pretty much just the first three in Chronicles. Granted, there still are differences between those stories and the comics, and I do recommend you read them, but it seems at that time the books had a much more rigid story to follow, as Bionicle was still fairly new. Plus, each one of the three was covering the story for an entire year, 2001 through 2003 overall, and for around a 120-ish page book, there just isn't room to explore more besides the story, which was covered in the comics. In the remaining years of Bionicle, there is more than one book for a story year, so it gives a lot more room to discover more than just the main story and flesh it out. Additionally, the writing style differed as the first three and fifth Chronicles books were actually written by C.A. Hapka and not Greg Farshti, who wrote all the other comics, books, and story serials. Greg is one of the masterminds behind Bionicle, so he was able to have full control over the narrative and characters. Another note about the books, four of them are actually the novelizations of the films. In my opinion, I do think there is more to pick up on in the novelizations, but this is material that I would branch under the maybe a rehash category. But besides those three chronicles plus the four movie novelizations, every story is incredibly unique, and some get so deep and interesting, especially from 2006 and on. But again, as I keep saying, I do recommend you read all the books, or at the very least most of them, as it is just giving you a much more complete picture of the legend. And just like the comics, the scans of the books are linked in the reading order guide spreadsheet or can be found directly on biomediaproject.com. Next up, story serials. While there aren't any distinct series for the story serials, there are different types. Some are split into chapters, others are just short stories, and others are actually audio podcasts narrated by Greg Farshti himself with written versions available. Just like the books, these are building upon the main story as seen in the comics and really flesh out the world, and they are, of course, written very well. Again, those are linked in the reading order guide spreadsheet or can be found on biomediaproject.com. Now that we covered the four main mediums of exploring the Bionicle story, I do want to get into a few others that give you other ways to explore the story of Bionicle. When Bionicle was active, they also had these really awesome mini-movies associated with each line. They vary in length and appearance, but they do provide great visual aid for the story and help further the world building. It wouldn't hurt to watch them as you completed a year of reading material. You can see all the mini-movies separated by year in the video section of biomediaproject.com. Bionicle also had a handful of video games, both online flash games and home release games, and while you could play them in the order they were released, 
there really is no wrong time to play them, as only a few are actually canon in parts, and there are no major story events revealed in them. Personally, I would take it on a case-by-case -case basis. If one looks fun, you can play through it, and then you can look into what parts of it are actually canon. But it would be a crime to not specifically mention the Mata Nui online games though. Many fans crown this as the pinnacle way to experience Bionicle, as it puts you on the island of Mata Nui and you just explore. While it is only a point and click adventure game created for Bionicle.com, there is something about it that is just so engaging. You learn a lot about the world the Matoran live in, and the music is just phenomenal. Bonacle was known for having some awesome Flash games, so I definitely recommend you check some of them out. All of the games can of course be found on BiomediaProject.com, except for the home release video games. And to say a few more words about the home release games, they probably had even less canon material than the Flash games, but still do have plenty of enjoyment in them, especially Bonacle Heroes, which was probably my favorite and had some awesome gameplay. But overall, the video games in general are great to check out, just like the mini-movies, if you want to explore more of the Bionicle universe. Finally, the last medium I want to explore actually encapsulates a few, and those are the fan sites. Bionicle fans are incredible, and they document everything related to Bionicle, so stumbling upon these sites and reading more about Bionicle from them can be very exciting. The two I want to specifically mention would be BiomediaProject.com, which I've discussed already, and the amazing Bionicle Sector 01 Wiki, or BS01 Wiki for short. There is so much information about everything relating to Bionicle on this site. Often I find myself getting lost on the site as I move from page to page, opening one tab after another, reading about Bionicle. And if I ever have any questions about a character or event, I find myself on BS01 looking for the answers. There are just so many great resources out there for you to just sit back and discover this fantastic world. Overall, that is how you get into Bionicle. You may be a bit overwhelmed right now, so I'll recap everything for you. First off, just stick to the reading order guide spreadsheet I created. You'll follow along with the comics, be tasked to watch the films when the occasion arises, read all of the chapter books for the year, read the story serials, and then read the guidebooks. This will take you through the full written Bionicle story experience while also giving you the option to skip over any of the books or story serials if you aren't feeling them. If you are still interested after that, dive into the mini movies and video games, or just explore everything archived on BiomediaProject.com and BS01. It really is up to you. And there you go. Thank you everyone for watching. I can't say enough how great the world Greg Farshti, Christian Faber, and the entire Bionicle team created is, and I hope you discover it soon. Be sure to tune in to the first part of the introductory episode of Bionicle Explained, the general story of Bionicle, if you haven't already, to find out generally what Bionicle is about. Also, don't forget to check out the other episodes as well as leave suggestions in the comments for future episodes. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe and join my Discord server, Infinity Sun Collaborations. This is a Discord community where you can not only hang out in an awesome community and talk about many topics such as Bionicle, but also have the opportunity to collaborate with other content creators on projects. The link to join is in the video description. And with that, I will talk to you guys later.